Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to the Grey Garden. Previously on the Grey Garden, we collected a disgustingly huge amount of apples, and then we collected caterpillars, and then we met some demon who is really to sun and doesn't like to admit that he likes cute fangs and sweets. What is it, Froze? It was a fire. I... Hmm? Froze? What's up? I was just thinking... About dumplings? Dumplings. The sky looks so nice. You're right about that. Should we go back to Diallo's? Sure. I could go for some dumplings. That explains that. OTP? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, OTP. Why is Froze wearing dominoes? Eh, whatever. That night... Fwump. Alrighty. That was some good pie today. Hmm. The stars are pretty. Well, I'm bored. Maybe I'll go to the garden and look at the stars. But in secret. Because Froze gets mad when I stay up late. Secret. I'm sure if you open up that diary and start reading it, it'd just be an entire list of what I ate for the day. Today I ate pie. Today I ate 99 apples again. Today I murdered all the flowers by picking them, and then I murdered all the butterflies for good measure. Ah. Oh. What a horrible night to have a curse. I'm saying that ahead of time. I feel like something bad is gonna happen. So I gotta get my cursing in, you know? You're gonna be like some kind of sealed being, aren't you? Kind of like that movie with the fairies in the forest and uh, Tim Curry singing as a giant pollution monster. Maybe now I can finally collect those 99 flowers. You know a game like this would make a good Harvest Moon type game. Ah, so I can collect flowers now. Oh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> Kinda cold. Shouldn't have brought a jacket. You are wearing a sweater. Hmm? Wild Zubat appears. <sighs> Mr. Bat, you're on fire. Maybe, maybe you should put that out. Maybe you shouldn't kidnap me. Huh? What? K kinda hot there.
Mm hmm? A call. This late at night. Moshimosh. Hey, do you have any idea how late... Froze! <laughs> uh... What? What is it? Weird flaming bat! Attacking me! Ah, it burns! Hey, where are you? The... the garden... Ah, uh, get away from me! You're so fire! Now I gotta spend all that time walking all the way over there. Uh huh. This music's a little too upbeat now and unfitting. For me, you know, rushing to go and save someone. From a flaming bat. Oh my god. This is not supposed to happen to my cute people doing cute things. Yo, so fire! F f froze. Stay with me. What in the world? What the heck is going on? Just what is Mr. Flamebat? Stay tuned in the next episode of Grey Garden. And what of my dinner? Nobody cares about that last part. Uh, this is my fourth wall breaking. You're not supposed to be here. Next episode, Yosef Fire dies. Mm, oh, she's missing one horn. That's kind of more. Ah, good nap. Hmm? Oh, right. Rose fixed me up yesterday. Well, basically all better now. Go me! This lack of glasses is freaking me out, man. Dear Diary, Yesterday, I was attacked by a flaming bat. Oh, froze. Morning. Yes, how are you doing? Thanks. <laughs> Fine, as you can see. Look how ganky I am. Don't be so rash. I'm fine. But what was that about? Yesterday, I mean. That was a real surprise, getting attacked like that. Hmm? What is it? Oh, um... Well... Given you're recovering, I don't want to push you. Mm hmm? I'd like you to tell White and Black the details of the event. Huh? Why's that? I just... feel there's a need to look into what that thing was. Oh, well, yeah. Never seen a bat like that before, for sure. Okay, this still hurts a little, but I can walk just fine. I see. Then let's head for Black Black Castle. Okie dokie. Aw, uh, she looked kinda cute without her one little missing horn hat. This is... These are these are strawberry jam, right? Not human guts. I'm taking your strawberries, by the way. I don't think 
I've met her sister yet. Raspel. Are we just all named after sweet things? I've already beaten you once in my steering contest. Do not try to challenge me again. Well... Uh, not feeling good about this. Natch. We'll need to hear more from her to know for sure, but... Can't we just go ask her in person instead of summoning her? But, I wonder... Is it an outsider's doing? Yeah, I'll bet it is. See, it's just like I said yesterday. Yeah, guess we gotta do something, huh? They've arrived. Oh, here we are. White, I've brought Yosef. Yes, thanks. Long time no pie delivery. How insolent can you be? Cheerfulness is paramount. Plus, it's my only redeeming trait. I'm ganky and happy and I like to do clumsy things. And that's alright, because it's adorable. How are you, Yosef Fire? Super fine. <laughs> That's good. So, then, Yosef Fire, I need to ask you something. Yes, sir. What exactly was it that attacked you in the garden? A flaming bat. Flaming? Yeah. It was a bat with a red flame around it. Like, Mr. Bat, fireball version. He scratched and bit me and spit fire, and it really hurt. But they're kind of like thinking about this. It's like, flaming bat? Is this the thing that's going to destroy our kingdom? I guess so. Was there anything else? Um, uh, well... I was pretty focused on fleeing from the bat. But I think it was just that bat there? Hmm. Thanks. I'll heal what hasn't healed already. Can you heal my broken heart? No. Oh. Whoa! How is it? Awesome. Doesn't hurt at all. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, take care. Gotcha. I'm bored. Old man, let's play. Who are you calling an old man? Now I gotta walk down all these stairs again. Couldn't you guys get live in a place with one floor? Flame. Sounds like we'll need to check this out. <laughs> Shadow. Understood. Go, my black butler character archetype. Go and rally the fangirls. Got a bad feeling. Flame.
wonder what this is all about. Who knows? Not me. But I hope it's nothing too bad. Well, I got healed up, so it don't matter to me. Alright, so what's it today? Where are we having fun? I'm going home. I have things to do. Mm -hmm. Come on, play. Later. Don't be so cold, man. I'm still fired up here. <coughs> Jeez. Guess I'll go home and write about how lame you are, Froze. Dear Diary, today Froze was lame. I also had to walk down and never set of stairs. It drove me insane. Was this was this here before? Did I walk all the way up there for nothing? Maybe not. I'm not gonna think about it. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, Yo, Sophia. I heard what happened. Are you alright? Yeah. White healed me up. Ah, uh, that's a relief. That's so odd. I mean, being attacked by an unfamiliar demon? Yeah, I guess. I shouldn't have wandered around Mount Moon. It was a bat, Macarana. Ah, uh, right. A bat. I'm really into eating bats these days. Again with your weird diet. Are they really tasty? I'll note that in my diary. Dear diary. Bats are tasty. Froze sucks. Hmm. Hmm, school tomorrow? Do you angels and demons actually have to go to school? Uh, I suppose we need that if we won't make this a fully cute people doing cute things setting. School antics are always the best. W wait Uh oh, I didn't do my homework yet. Got talk with Froze. Maybe I shouldn't have called her a lamer. I wonder what my diary says. A flaming bat. I didn't write the thing about Froze in there. Hmm. Yo-ho, Froze. Please, let me copy your homework. No. Please, please, please. Please and carrots. No. As goofy as that sounds, no. Okay, fine. I won't copy. Just show me how to do it. Eh? Eh? You know we're OTP. You've got to let me do it. Oh, fine. It would be easiest to have the book to look at, too. The library, I suppose. All right! Hmm. I have spent over an hour just doing cute things. I was also attacked by a flaming bat, but I looked cute when it was attacking me, so it's not a big deal. And I should have used the warp crystal. It must be real fun at this school. We have rules like don't fly and don't spit fire. Look at you, Yosef Fire. Really is some nice weather. This isn't even a time to be slacking. If any outsiders are about. Hmm? 
I'm not slacking. Oh, what a bother. I was enjoying having that peaceful world. Though, you just spend all day locked up in a room. No, that's not true. We also have staring contests. And yes, I'm going to bring that up every time I see you guys. And we could have just gone to talk to the girl with the glasses instead of summoning her. Oh, please. Oh god, remember? Why can't I be allowed that? Lazy. You say something. <laughs> of, of course not. But you don't want to talk. Mm -hmm. Aren't you making an Aaron boy of Shadow? Aaron? No, I, I don't mean to. You were awful quick to leave things to him earlier. N yes. Well, I'm the devil. Why can't I be... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so many OTPs in this story. It's a shipper's dream. Like a harbor. You know? You just you come in this harbor and you just see all these ships, as they say. Oh, so in simple terms. Come on. This is my fifth time explaining it to you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm out. <sighs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'll listen for real. Hey, quiet in the library. Hmm? A homestuck? Sure looks like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're homestuck. Ha 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 ha. Yo, Sapphire, your injuries all healed now? Oh, Mr. Lowry, I'm super fine now. That's good to hear. Ignore my orange ehoge. Even if it's really eye-catching and distracting. And I'm glad to see you studying here. <laughs> it's no big deal. I mean... Miss Grief's lessons are really hard. What's wrong with your hair? Are you... are you a bird or are you a lion or what? Uh, Miss Grief. Yo, know, Sapphire. If you forget your homework next time, you know what'll happen, yes? No, I've had enough of weed pulling. Just how many detentions have you gotten? Don't even ask me. Oh, they're both birds, I guess. I, are they demon hands or something? Mr. Lowry, he's a kind teacher. Does he even get mad when I forget my homework? Miss Grief. Gets super mad when you forget homework. Scary. Seriously. Well then, Yosef Fire. Good luck with your homework. Yes, sir. Please ignore the fact I'm doing it all in the last second. Huh? Hey, wait. Why are our teachers at the library? Some research, perhaps. Uh-huh. Could it be the ever-trendy library date? Doubtful. Isn't that what we're on? Mm-hmm. Come on. 
Let's finish this before the sun sets. Roger. This game is too adorable for me. And look at their hands. They look like cat paws. Hey, but anyway, froze? What? What we've been learning about, that history stuff, is it true? Hmm? I, uh, kind of slept through a bunch and didn't hear much. But I mean the thing about how long ago, angels and demons hate each other's guts. And how white and black, they were super duper ultimate sworn enemies. Yes, indeed they were. No way, that can't be right. I mean, they're not lying? Do you think our teachers would lie about that for fun? But I mean, me and you are so lovey-dovey, yeah? Eh? And Wine and Old Man Black, they're heck so friendly, right? Like, everybody gets along, yeah? It's really peaceful, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah? However true that may be now, our past is undeniable. Huh? Ghosts of Fire. We... That is, angels and demons. We're essentially opposites. Creatures who fundamentally can never understand the other. Our world is a rarity, it seems. Our situation is seldom found. Our world? Huh? What? What do you mean? What we have here is considered highly improbable in other worlds. What? Other worlds? Sounds like a plot point from some book. Perhaps so. But those things really exist? Certainly. Very many of them. They say in one world there's a bunch of these yellow cat people things, and they're all perverted. What? Never knew that. But why? Why is not getting along considered natural out there? And who can say? Worlds must just be that way. That seems really lonely. I mean, Froze, you're a really good kid, right? B yes, if you say so. And Macarona, and Shalon, you're all so nice and real good friends to me. So I don't get how I could be so unfriendly with angels like you guys. Huh. <laughs> You're so fire. You're still such a child. What'd you say? I I'm your age, Froze. <laughs> Just called yourself a child. Yes, yes. Very well. There are many worlds with many things. Perhaps yours is a peaceful garden. But not each and every person can necessarily live in such a world. Of course, hardly any remain from so long ago, so few know anything from then. And I wasn't there either. I don't know exactly what happened in our past. All I've heard is, at the bitter end of that dreadful, desperate world, everything was destroyed, leaving only a barren wasteland. <laughs> Who did all that? Mr. Black. Say what? That old man's scarier than I thought. Indeed. You could say he was a real demon. Now, we're almost done with homework here. 
Huh? Oh yeah. All right, let's do this. Hmm. Oh shoo! Ho ho. Wonder who's gossiping about you. Hmm. Legend of the Prosciutto. So that's it for part three of the Great Garden. So while we were attacked by a flaming bat, for the most part things are still quite peaceful in the Great Garden. There's still quite a bit of foreshadowing of something that's coming, but for the most part, you know, it's it's pretty uh pretty grey. I guess that they I guess they use that as an adjective in this world. At least no matter what happens, we collected a disgustingly huge amount of flowers, and apples, and caterpillars. Anyway, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for part 4 of The Grey Garden.